Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress with Pixie Dust Tarot, and this is your daily dust for Thursday, September 8th. If you're watching on real time, if you're watching a day ahead of time, that's when I film it, or anytime you stumble upon it, it is a timeless reading. We're using one of my favorite fairy decks, the Force Creatures Tarot. This is my kind of my go to fairy deck. I love the picture so much, but the book is kind of weird. <laughs> it's, it's a little booklet. It's, it's, it doesn't really talk about the images. It just kind of t does the baser, basic Rider Waite Smith information. Let's give it a good shuffle. see what we have. We have the Emperor, Divine Masculine, and Aries Energy. Isn't he cute? <laughs> He's definitely a force creature. Let's see what else we have. The Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands is definitely um, a very high energy card i love it it's magic this is like you possessing a wand and being able to create magic with it and maybe you're the emperor you know male female masculine feminine doesn't you know male images female images whatever creature this is <laughs> you can still be the emperor let's see what else Ooh, and then we have the page of swords it's like truth justice honesty integrity law-abiding citizen <laughs> my oath on my oath i'm just getting a very strong she looks even more serious than the emperor and the emperor usually is quite the serious type because they have so much that they own and they have to they have to lead so much, many people, but he seems sort of a chill emperor. Let's zoom in and take a closer look. So the basic definition for the emperor has to do with stability, power, aid, protection, a great person. This could be a boss, father figure, divine masculine, love interest, anything of, of that sort. Um, somebody that you know that could be that's an Aries or could represent you. It could be you because you are at the top of the evolutionary uh, of the court cards. You know, there's the page, the knight, the queen, the king, and they, and they, they all just really symbolize stages and phases of power and knowledge and and how they use them. And the emperor is is a little bit more strategical than the Empress, who is a little more nurturing. So you could be in this kind of position or somebody that you know is in this position, but it definitely re refers to conviction and having good reason. And like a benevolence, a compassion too. So there's a lot like him that is like the Empress, who is his counterpart, but as a masculine, he will show it in a different way or take on different roles within a connection. So it's good news though, because when your emperor shows up, that means that somebody very powerful in your life is, is either in your life or coming towards your life. So with the Ace of Wands, we have really exciting energy here. The ace represents newness and beginnings. Um, it represents creation, invention, enterprise, and powers. 
that you possess within your it's like this staff you know within his hand within your hand you have these powers the ace of wands also gives me sort of phallic energy but in this case it's a slightly different because we have the crescent moon with sort of this receptive ball of energy you know so the crescent moon gives me feminine vibes and high priestess energy and moon energy and this ball is just it's kind of like um it's kind of an attraction it's like the yin yang it's like the feminine and the masculine and being the receptive and the action involved so it's a, it almost feels like a balance of two energies like a, a masculine here but and also a feminine essence coming through um, it could also have to do with birth you know childbirth for some of you who are interested um, it can have to do with beginnings of all things, source, family, origins, enterprises, uh, money, fortune, inheritance, all of those things. The wand's energy is fire, so it has to do with having a passion behind something that you're interested in. Sword's energy, however, is air, which is about intellect and brains and how you sit so in the page is how you how you communicate or it can also have to do with the stages or phases you're in the page is is on is the lowest of the court cards but the page's role is about communication it's the student it's the learner it's the new person it's it's learning something new but like being super like a quick learner like really smart and and getting it this person um is might be doing something quickly like a swift swift acting swift talking you know maybe very um charismatic charming a smooth talker sometimes um but as as this bold and brave feminine energy i feel with this page here we have sort of a Joan of Arc kind of energy this is also like an an authority this is somebody who's overseeing something this can represent secret service even vigilance spying even examining things um, and looking into the qualities of things vetting out things the vetting vetting things out and making sure that everything is on the up and up according to whatever you're dealing with you know whatever in your life that you're dealing with whether it's love whether it's business personal or otherwise there is this strong authoritative ability to cut through the bs and vet things out and see the truth for what it is because you are very powerful and magical with your with your wand of truth you know with your ability just to see to know and to see past illusion so this is really good and strong um and if you are connecting with a person i feel like you both are on the same page it's not like this person is against you and you have to judge them and make sure that they're they're cool i think i think you're going to find that this person immediately gets it so if these are two people like you and another person you and this is you you immediately click with this person they're great they're kind of an authority on it you trust them just innately because of you know because of your instincts and intuition but also because of uh, the vetting process that you had have with them if this is the reverse where this is you then you possibly you could be like an employer and you know hiring a new person and vetting them and saying yep you seem on the up and up I trust you with secrets and things like that you seem like everything checks really good you have like clearance and we did thumbprints and you know things like that like you you're clear to go so I feel that kind of energy too if this is a romantic situation there may be um not a lot of of romance like heart stuff at first but there could be definitely fire energy like a passion building the emperor is very 
even though the emperor represents Aries, which is Mars and passionate energy, they're not going to be reckless and act upon it. They're going to be cool about it. And the sword's energy is always cool, no matter what. <laughs> so there is a, a nice cool energy here, but there is like an underlying passion that could develop between a couple here. So that's that's another possibility here for some of you out there but I think it's a really really good energy it's a very truth honest clear everything out in the open you know no BS energy I don't know why I keep using that but that's what it feels like it feels like nothing's hidden anymore and you can you can feel safe with the you know the following choices that you make from this all right so I hope you like that faith trust and pixie dust if you care, like, subscribe, and share. <laughs>